Hi, I'm Tommy Rollins. One of the skills that I'm going to go over with you today is an underhook series. Uh, I think the underhook is one of the best positions to wrestle from. It's a control tie, so you have your opponent out of position for an extended period of time. Most setups, uh, your opponent's out of position for maybe a split second, and you have to attack right out of the gates uh, with an underhook position. You can have him out of position for an extended period of time, and based on his reaction, um, I hit a certain set of skills. But before we do any skill from the underhook, you've got to make sure that you have a good underhook. And some of the areas that I think are important when you have an underhook position is you got to have an angle, you got to have leverage, and there can be no space between you and your opponent. So that's kind of my checkpoint when I have an underhook position. So when I get here in an underhook, I want to have an angle. I have an angle with my opponent right here. I want to have leverage. How do I have leverage? Well, one, if you're a tall guy, it's pretty easy. But even if you're short, I jack him up here. Okay? Now, one thing that you got to make sure of is a lot of people like to grab the shoulder. There's a lot of ways to skin a cat. You can win a lot of different ways. Uh, I'm not knocking this way of doing the underhook. But when you have an underhook right here, it's easy for your opponent to wing down and take away some space and leverage from you. And like I said, you want to have an angle, leverage, and no space. So I get in here. The underhook that I'm going to have, I want the hand, my hand in the upper middle part of my opponent's back. I'm going to jack my shoulder up to make sure his shoulder is in his ear. So once I get there, I have an angle already. Now I have leverage. Alex is in a very uncomfortable position. Okay? And I want to make sure there's no space. I don't want to back out and put my head in the chest here. There's some things I can do here. I can do a swim high crotch. I can do an ankle pick. I can come down to a front headlock. But from here, I have a lot more options based on his reaction. Okay? So when I go to tie up with my opponent, I get my underhook in a lot of different ways. Boom. Hand in the upper middle part of my opponent's back. Shoulder in his ear. Angle, leverage, no space. For those of you guys that like Greco, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to center step. For those of you that aren't familiar, I want to keep my lead leg forward, okay, so that I can overwhelm my opponent. The only way you can get your opponent to react is if you overwhelm him. This is not going to make my opponent react. He's not threatened. This threatens him. It makes him do something, okay? Now, the most common reaction for your opponent is for him to square up, because if I have angle, leverage, and no space, a good opponent is going to want to make space and get, get squared up. So I've got to prepare and anticipate for that. So when I'm here, he makes space, puts his head in my chest. Now I don't have an angle, I don't have much leverage, and I don't have any space. I want to continue to fight for that position in a typical underhook um, style of wrestling. All right, but the skill I want to go over with is if I get here, he squares up, puts his head in my chest, and there's not a whole lot of options that I can do. I have a hand on the wrist, I could have it on the head, I could have it on the tricep, my free hand, doesn't matter. Okay, my opponent is squared up, his head's in my chest. I'm kind of out of options, at least you would think. Okay? Number one skill that I like to hit from this position is an is a, um, underhook throw by. Okay? And the first thing I want to do is I want to take this back leg and hop it to the side I'm attacking. And I'm going to attack the underhook side. So back leg hops, boom. That gets me to the side and gets back to my angle. At the same time, I'm going to throw everything over top of my opponent's head with my right arm. So back leg hops, throw by right here. Okay? That motion needs to happen simultaneously. So back leg hops, throw by. Simultaneous. Again. Back leg hops, throw by. Okay? Now what I want to do with my right arm is I'm placing it down here. The second his thigh hits my forearm, I'm returning to the fundamentals of wrestling. As you can see, being like this, like a teapot, is not exactly fundamental wrestling. But I'm sacrificing a little bit of the basics, basic positions to get my angle. So I'm right here, back leg hops, throw by. The second his thigh hits my forearm, return to the basics, single leg. Sometimes they fall all the way down like Alex did. Sometimes they stay up. You've got to prepare for when people stay up. Okay, so I throw him by. Boom, he stays up. I'm here, back in my single leg position. Now, I'm sure when you come to wrestling camp at Ohio State, you're going to learn a lot of different ways to, to finish this position. Step out, dump, cut the corner. There's a lot of different ways to finish a single leg. So I'm right here, great underhook position. Angle, leverage, no space. I'm wrestling a stud, he squares up, puts his head in my chest, back leg hops, throw by, return to the basics, finish however I'd like. And that's the underhook throw by. I hope the technique you just watched will help you in reaching your wrestling goals. We understand that not everyone will be able to make it to our camp. That is why we created these web camps. We will be uploading a new one to this site periodically. To get updates on when a new webcam video is up along with other OSU wrestling news, please enter your information in the, in the box below. You'll be able to cancel these updates at any time. 
If you'd like to share these webcams with your teammates, please list additional emails under the comment section below. Thanks a lot and we look forward to assisting you in reaching your goals.